Hey, welcome back to the Nerd Pack. And it's about that time of night for our late night stream where we uh, are a little bit less crazy and a little bit more chill and we just kind of relax. When we do do these late night streams, we tend to chill. Welcome. I don't always do late night streams, but when I do, you can uh, you can bet it's uh, it's a lot more chill than our usual stuff. It's kind of where the OG uh, has come out of the woodworks, and we all kind of just chill and and it's where the, some of the newer people get to experience uh, a little bit more of my laid back streaming style. I hope you brought some snacks and drinks, and maybe a blanket, maybe a cup of cocoa. And we're going to play some more Cassette be uh, Beasts. This would be part four. Um, I've been really hooked on this cute game as of late. I think it's absolutely adorable. And uh, yeah, last time we played, we beat two Archangels, and we're going to go fight some captains. Yeah, I can't wait to get into it. I have some food. I hope you guys remember to bring some food, too. Today was awesome. I had such a blast today. Uh. I guess the equivalent of my later night streams are more of the kind of... Uh, the chiller streams, I guess. Kind of the equivalent of like letting your hair down and kind of just grabbing a blanket and chilling. These late night streams are more for the people that kind of get off work and uh, just kind of want less craziness and more chill vibes and stuff place to kind of relax, put something off, put something in the background and relax and vibe and unwind after a hard day. I get that because that's what it kind of is for me. Um, something to do to kind of get ready before bed and pass out this is what these late night streams are, especially for me. Um, so I think that right there. I is one of the captains we're looking for. Uh, I think that's... Uh, and then I, I haven't found out the exact location of the other captain. I'm going to unplug my mic and plug it back in real quick, though. This uh, mic's getting old. I'm having... Oh yeah, okay. I think I fixed it. Welcome back. Um, yeah. So we're looking for captains right now. Um, I know that that's one of the captains we're looking for. And the other captain we're looking for... Oh! Is somewhere in this area? But where exactly in this area? I'm not... I'm not entirely sure, because it could be anywhere in this area. So, we're looking for... And it tells you when you're hovering over the area the area that the captain belongs to. So we're looking for Captain Zed. Uh, scattershot. On the hunt, Landkeeper office, Captain Zed. Your location. I'm still figuring out everything about the game. I'm still new to it. I don't understand everything exactly just yet, but... We're figuring it out as we go. I think one of the other things we managed to do, too, was we managed... Oh! Oh, the sleepy dude was Captain Zed, huh? Oh, okay, so I know what we need to do, then. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize that was a challenger. Beat me, and I'll tell you the secret of... Well, I already, I already beat those guys up, so... Oh.
finish my dinner before it gets cold. Oh yeah, that looks like it hurts. Yep. And he's self-destructed. Ouch. Do I have a heal left? Wow. Uh... Forty percent slash damage. Well, that's weird. Okay. From nineteen eighty-eight, two English rock bands, Iron Gaiden, Gaiden, Iron Gaiden, and Shields of Nephilim, Nephilim, without knowledge of each other, simultaneously released songs titled "Morning Child." If you listen to them in reverse at the same time. So that the words interweave, it summons the original warning child, being so powerful that it can open a gateway to between worlds. Oh, sorry, I've heard. Okay. Interesting. I get it. Some meat stuck in my teeth. I should really make a playlist on YouTube called Late Night Streams. It might make it easier to categorize this stuff. Based on ranged attack. Dang it. Oh, man, I got a piece of meat stuck in my teeth, and it's like all the way in there. Oh, well. <clears throat> really? Yeah, teach him Heroic Blade. I feel like that would be a lot better. Do you have preemptive strike? Five percent XP based on empty slot. Five percent chance to refund all AP after use. Really? Oh. Okay.
120. How much was it? 5% XP bonus per, so that's 5, 10, 15. Okay, yeah, that's not terrible. Like this first melee attack that's received this turn. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Fire. So I don't think we have anything good against fire. Fire hits earth, it turns into glass. Am I, am I thinking that right? Hold on. We have an item for this. We should hand that to her. I forgot about that. Let me read this real quick. Alright, so fire. So fire hits air, it buffs it. And fire hits astral, it buffs it. If fire hits ice, it transmutes it into water. If fire hits metal, it, it's not good. Okay. If fire hits plastic, it gets a poison coating. I gotta spit real quick, sorry guys. That backfired. Yuck. Anyway. I'm gonna wrap this burger up. I'm not exactly hungry at the moment. I don't want it to go bad. I kinda want a glitter or a glass type. Uh, we haven't gotten a lightning type either. Or an ice type. Or a water type. Uh, we have an earth type that we evolved into from something else, which is pretty cool. Uh, I haven't gotten a pure astral type either. That'd be pretty cool. Getting one of those would be pretty, pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright. This chart's super helpful. I kind of forgot we had it, but I remembered because I took a picture. I don't have the plastic dude with us at the moment. I don't have an ice. I have an air. I think we have an air. Do we have an air type with us? No. No, I do not. Earth. Beast. Metal, poison. Earth, beast, metal, poison. Earth, beast, metal, poison. Beast is neutral towards everything. Earth, beast, earth. Earth is neutral towards fire. Earth, beast, metal's bad, metal. Earth, beast, metal, poison's bad. So, okay, cool. Earth, beast, metal, poison. All right, cool. I love the, that we can just give ourselves contact damage.
I think that's super cool. I also love that when we first started this game, like a couple days ago, that we found uh, a guy that we like, or I like, right off the bat. I think that's super cool. Burned wouldn't do anything against them since they're fire. Crumbles only against the shields. Bite would heal us. And we increase our melee damage, so yeah, let's just use bite against them. Uh, I'll use smack against them. Oof, the contact damage is mean. That self destructs. And then I'm gonna bite. That heals me. Alright, cool. I don't remember exactly. I think he wanted us to take out five bullets. I'll check. Hey, bro, how many how many bullets did you want us to take out? Hmm. It's getting real difficult to med meditate around here with all that bullet zooming or bullet bullet boltino zooming around. Any chance you could sort that out for me? Uh, maybe it's on my quest log. Was it a rumor? Achievements. Oh, okay. Uh. That's the hard captain said was heading out to see what's... Yeah, yeah, okay, that's what we're tracking. I don't remember exactly how many times he said... To, I guess we'll just keep beating... Well, I guess we'll just take them all out and see if that does it. Okay. He wants all the bullets gone. That should be fine. That'll do it. Does that inflict burn too? No, okay, we're good. Contact damage, that should take them out. Shield bash, turn my defense to offense. Yep, that'll do it. Giant boulder being hurled at ya. Um, alright, we're good. Victory! Nice. Cool. Uh, I'm starting to get hurt real bad here. Good night. Oh, is he done? Okay, cool. Scatter shot complete. Thanks. Thanks for that, man. It shouldn't be this hard for a ranger captain to get a bit of shut eye around here. Oh. Oh, totally forgot you're a ranger captain. Uh... Uh, I guess you're here to take my ranger training challenge, huh? Are you ready? <sighs> uh, let me let me let me throw down a save real quick and fully he'll heal the team. Or you know what, let me swap out for my main team real quick. There we go, we should be fine now. Throw down a save real quick. Uh, I don't know what kind of types he uses, so like, we could be at a disadvantage. Yeah, and alright then, let's hit the hay. I mean, hit the battlefield, yeah. He probably uses status effect guys since he's always sleepy. It tends okay. to reflect his, his fighting style. Yep, I figured. What does that do again? You know what? I'm sh I could sacrifice somebody for the gambit and always bring him back. Sharp edges. Rude.
Deja vu. Multi strike. Contact damage. Alright. Got three. Uh, I still have one turn before Gambit takes me out. Let's do. Let's just do a normal attack. And then, uh, 80 damage. Let's do Galactic Beatdown. It's 88. And then 62. He must have some kind of passive ability that anytime he gets hit, he gets, uh, berserk. When an astral type attack, when an astral type attack hits an astral type monster, they can absorb the, and make use of astral energy left over. Really? Interesting. Also, Alm. Desperation. I got one turn of Gambit left, but I have saved up six points, so. Uh, this should, this should kill them, assuming I don't roll a nat one. That would really suck. Um. Damage roll, that's a 10. That's death. And then I got one more for multi-strike. Damage roll, that's a 20. That's instant death. Goodbye. Rip. Gambit failed. There goes Bloody Reaper. Or, I should call him Bloody Reaper, it's Bloody Viper. Alright, that's okay though. He did his job as damage dealer, and, and a really good one at that. All right, let's bring out Mortimer. That'll activate echolocation. Uh. And let's do... This Galactic Beatdown is not as good as I thought. Like, I've been watching the damage. Bam, 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 bam. I guess type advantage is, is, is a big deal, isn't it? Yeah, okay, no, never mind. That was big whammy. Wow. Alright, we won. Cool. Wow. I think that final blow woke me up a bit. Here's your reward. I mean, did you see how much damage I did to you? I think that would wake anybody up. I, I'm surprised it didn't kill you. Cool. I got the, the Z badge, the sleep badge. So we got the brick badge and the sleep badge. Cool. Sure fire, uncommon. Grant guarantees the next target move. Guarantees the next target next moves won't miss and gives priority chance. Cool. Mm. I could do with a cup of coffee to wake me up. You might drink more coffee than I do. Mm. Alright, let's head back to base. Oh, uh, the next person's here, so I know exactly where to go. It's not a big deal. Bonjour. Au revoir. You and Kale casually discuss the mys mysteries of New World. So just a casual day, like normal? Okay. Can I upgrade my... Okay, so what's the deal? Oh, it's four. It's not five. I was about to say. Uh, I, never mind. False alarm. I actually really like my team and don't want to swap them out. This might become a... This is a bad habit when I play to other monster games, too. Because I'm going to end up getting addicted. Makes the target conductive. What does conductive do? Makes lightning moves better, right? Why would I want that for my snake dude? A 
Let's go spend some of our materials. I've been holding on to so many of them because I want to buy the gym badge. I should probably buy some stuff. At this point, it's kind of ridiculous how much I've been holding on to. Oh. Mm. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think the other captains get it. Huh? What exactly? The whole sleep thing. It's my whole deal. They don't know the dreamscape, the collective subconscious, or how any of it affects the whole place. If I'm honest, I'm starting to suspect they just might be big slackers. Well, well you are a big slacker. <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't worry about it. The others, they just don't ha understand your work. They just don't have a respect for my decision to make you a captain. Thanks. Thanks, big pep talk, captain. Ah, <sighs> uh, all this human interaction really takes it out of a guy. I think I'm gonna go get some such, should I? So, like, his specialty is sleeping, and, like, he's... Okay, so, like, he's a master, like, dream astral projection. But that's why he's always tired, because his work has to do in the dream world. Okay, so he's not a slacker. Okay. He's fighting the battle in the, the astral projection dream world. That's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, I've already read this. Never mind. Hello. Four more captains. Uh, yeah. Wait, no. Ta -ta. What is the name of the object that lets me re uh, revive people? Rest pool. Rewinds and rest pools. That's I want to. I want to upgrade. Having one of these in your pocket will upgrade your Boltino dash to inflict damage at the start of battle. That's cool, but I don't want it. Uh, increase the number of. That's the the repel, right? Rewinds. Carry. Cures. I don't care about that. Number of smoke bombs. I don't use those. Respule. There we go. That's the, the revive, right? Ta ta! Yeah, okay, cool. Hello. Ranger will provide additional resources to the sticker merchant at the market in Central Harbor Town, letting the stock one additional sticker. Prices will be reduced. Fusion meter would be nice. Ten percent faster. Uh. Drop me down to three. Oh, that's such a pain. Doesn't say anything about increasing the rarity. Merchant, uh, we'll, we'll carry one additional stock. That's that's it, though. I'm not really impressed Ta -ta. by these upgrades, I'm gonna be honest. rocking in my party right now. Alright, okay, that's, I can work with that. That's fine. 
Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to jump on that, but I can't get up there. Oops. Alright. Oh, hi. My husband and I have been stuck here since 2160. Huh? I don't think that time period has happened here where I am. Uh, excuse me? Hmm. Yeah, that hurts. Desperation. Uh, bone cannon. Yep, that'll hurt you. Attribution, which increases your stat damage stats whenever an ally goes down. Bone cannon. Which... The damage is increased by my melee, not my ranged attack, which makes that a really mean ability. <sighs> Nobody here seems to know about these seashells. How barbaric. What if I buy them? Yeah, okay, cool. Oh! Hello! That is an ice type. I do really want to catch an ice type. Uh. I hope this doesn't kill you. Ice tape, cool. Alright, we have an ice tape, should increase the success by a lot. Galactic beatdown. Yeah, we've got it. That's a capture. Give him a treat. That's cute. All right, we got it. We got our first ice type, guys. Elfless. In order to hide their true emotions, Elfless fashion a crude, smiling mask out of tree bark. Uh, something rumors claim that there is only one day a year where all Elfless will assemble together to replace their old mask with new ones. Okay, cool. Wow, they're completely balanced. Cool. Trying to think of a clever name. You know, I hope it's there's a Holly Quinn or like a, a jester type character enemy in this game. That would make me really happy. I'm still trying to think of a clever name. I'm gonna go with the generic and crush Count Chili. I think it's cute. Alright. That's fine. Alright, I'll let fate decide. Damage roll. And smack. That's a d20, buddy. That's. Fate has indeed decided your fate. That is. That is unfortunate, my friend. Oh. hurting a little bit. Let's grab one of these. Hmm. 
I've seen some bull bullet Renos near the near here that near here that move fast enough to break large rocks. I it'd be neat if I, could, I had that skill though. Wait, can I really? Oh no way! Oh, that's how you do it. All right, didn't know I could do that. Change the type of a user or an ally. Huh. Does more damage to different users, low health, bone cannon. Oh, okay. Now that I know I can do that, that's pretty fucking cool. Uh, oh, did we never... Hold on. We went in here, but was there actually anything in here? Oh, hey. Superheated fist. It's one enemy. Whoa, okay, that's cool. Someone can learn that? No way, our, our melee guy can learn superheated fists. What? <sighs> Ooh, wait. Ah. Oh. Dang. Makes a target conductive. Come here, I gotta try a new move on you. I did come with the mouse dude, he's super cute. Uh, it only costs 2 AP and I can use it right off the bat, and it does 11% increased damage. Wow, super hit a fist. Whoa, damn, okay. All right, well, that's busted. Sturdy armor prevents the user's melee and range defense stat from going being lowered. What? Alright, hold on. I gotta do some editing real quick. Uh, okay, remove that. As much as is good. Uh, and then, what is that, two? That's a really good starting move. I don't need that. So that's, oh, that's a lot of damage. Wow, okay. I'm curious how this is gonna work. This is gonna be cool. Uh... Prevents the, it's a passive. Wow, prevents their, the defense from going down. That's crazy. Parry stance, I don't need parry stance then. If I have a passive that makes my armor, my defense never go down. Heal, parry stance is now gone. Makes the target conductive. And I've got my big hitting attack right there. Well, it's, it's 90 and it costs three.
God, it would be really cool if I could teach uh, a lightning move to him. I want to teach somebody radiation breath. I got it for a reason. I want to teach it to somebody. I, I will. I will teach it to somebody at some point. Dang it. Uh. Let's get out of here. Excuse me. I got the hiccups. Alright, let's actually head over to our destination, which is we gotta head down past this crater. Oh, hi. Just kinda jumped into me. I can change myself to a beast type instead of metal type. Oh, that might be useful. I, I was thinking these guys would make a good team, but that's cool. Yeah, so that doesn't work. If I just make myself conductive, that would be kind of self-destructive, huh? That's a cool wall. Walls absorb a certain number of incoming hits. Type advantage attacks immediately break walls. In addition to standard wall behavior, Akra... Akrama... Kaka, a cob? Automatically attacks one point of each turn. Okay, my favorite wall type, for sure. And the energy shot just instantly took him out. That's dope. Okay. Uh, bite, and then heroic blades done for the turn. Uh, conductive. <laughs> Yuck. Sorry. Cool. Cool. I'm gonna take the conductive thing off for sure. Maybe tune it a little bit. Funsies. Um. I don't quite remember what conductive does. I wonder if there's a tutorial uh, somewhere. Oh, my hand hurts. Uh, uh, none of that's helpful. None of that's what I'm looking for. Automatically inflicts damage when a melee attack misses a user.
We could just make him the tank. A really, really annoying tank. I do want to put that on somebody at some point. Oh, that would be really amazing for a tank. Okay, okay, how can I... Because you get five extra XP, let's see. Extra XP points per sh empty slot, but I don't, I don't know if I should be sacrificing slots just for extra XP. Uh, it's still 5% percentage. Maybe I should just leave it alone. I'm trying to, like, mid-max here when it's not necessary. I gotta readjust my hand brace, though. It's... My fingers really hurt. To be fair, though, I haven't taken any ibuprofen all day, which I think is a good thing. I think I've been being good. About that. You know what, I'll leave it alone. I think this is a good build. He's, he's a really, <laughs> really annoying tank. Which I wanted him to be a damage dealer. I just picked the wrong evolution. But that's fine. Should be fun. Alright. The Deadlands. I don't know if I... Oh, wait, no, this is the... Okay, never mind. I know where we are. Hmm. Fusion Swarm. Did I say Fusion Swarm? Yeah. Fusion Swarm. What in the world? Alright. Elemental Coding. Provoke. You gotta attack the tank, guys. You're not allowed to attack anyone else. Oh, if you have AoE, I guess that makes sense. Blade. Uh, you have the most health. You can go. Rock Blade. Well, hello there. Do I have bites? I do. Let's get some health back. still provoke, so it's not like they can't they have to pro keep attacking me. Alright. Alright, let's fuse. Mask, mask, ma ma carbs? Spear? Cool. Alright. Alright. Let's use, uh... Let's use our rare technique on the big guy. Energy shot. Copper shot. That's resonance. Okay, you have to go. Revenge strike. Elemental coating will change us to a beast type, so that way you can't use copper chop on us. Steal help from this guy and kill him. And then this just this dude. That won't work anymore. 
because I'm not a... Oh, cool. Fusion power. Uh... take you out. He's parrying, that's fine, I'm not going for him. We'll take him out. Uh, we'll provoke. It's a good way to just chill. That's two resonance, but we'll be okay. Revenge shop, his parry's gone. Then we'll use our fusion power to finish him off. Fusion power, frenzied arrow. Characters with healing stim regen some health to start each turn. Oh, oh, there's the third resonance. Bloodlust. All right, well, that's okay. You can meet my actual guys. I hope it was worth using resonance on me, of all things. It's a bit dirty, but that's fine. Superheated fist. Feel the poison course through your veins. While my superheated fist burns straight out of you. <laughs> yeah, that's annoying. Got an achievement. Monster Mash. 5Gs. Defeat a swarm. Does that count as defeating it? Really? Superheated Fist. Gambit. It's nice when I get an ability to roll all on its own. Deja Vu. Uh, let's bring back... Uh, you, because I need you to level up and uh, evolve you. Deja vu. It does hurt. Not as much as, uh. Five, four? Four? Uh. Uh, let's trade desperation. I have enough AP to roll it twice. Multi. Let's do uh, Galactic Beatdown. Multi Strike. Alright, he's gone. Blam -ba bam! And we win. Yay, we can evolve the Macabre now. Blood. What? Reduce the user's HP by half by giving it to another target. Dude, he's got some really cool abilities. Probably some of the coolest I've seen. Elemental coding. Bites. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Sorry, excuse me. Alright, these guys make a really good team. Uh, I will swap them out real quick. For my, my main guys, but that's that's a pretty cool combo. Let's uh since you're hurting, let's swap you out for him. Hmm. Okay. There's a rock down here. Let's. Oh, okay, that's not a rock and grab. Where are you? Oh, you're. Your fight. Alright. Oh, well, son of a. Alright. Echolocation. Fries have gone a little bad. Oh wow. Oh. That's annoying. 
parry and a wall. Hmm. He'll parry one of the hits, but he won't parry all the hits. Especially gonna hit up all five times. Oh, oh, I didn't see this coming. Ow. Okay, so he can parry all of them if parry's active. Ow. Noted. Let's go all out. Alright, my fries are gone. Well, that works. We got some plastic. Cool. Right, what's the point of being over here? Is some challenger, dude? Alright. What does that do? Does that do anything? To activate something over here, maybe? No, not that I can tell. Mm. I am unsure of what that button did. Oh! We need something off to the right, okay. Okay, well. You guys really don't do anything for us. This is just kind of annoying, if anything. Oh, we found a campfire. That's nice. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Hmm. So I've been having a bit of a, of a think think great recently. I spent some time processing my feelings over, over my time in morning town. So how much of my time was spent trying to keep people happy? In fact, I spent a lot of time trying to people please people. I think maybe I still do. That's all well and good, but maybe it's time maybe it's good for me to think of what I would like to do and what I want. Otherwise, I'll just burn myself out. There'll be nothing of me left. Huh? Well, I will have to think about that. I feel like when I was younger, I used to have so much more passion for things than I do as an adult. Is that normal? I have no idea. Maybe that's not it. Maybe it's just that maybe your hobbies change. Maybe you gotta look at things from a different point of view. Do you know I used to play the guitar? Same as my dad. My earliest memories are me sitting on his lap, listening to him play. Very carefully. I bought my own guitar in my teens, but it was never practically good at it. I guess I gave up because I felt like any hobby I had should probably amount to something eventually. Wow, that reminds me of Zeb. Not in a bad way, just her saying that. Crazy. That crazily reminds me of, like, my brother. Like, the way she said that almost exactly reminds me of what he says all the time. And, well, if I wasn't destined to become a professional musician, what was the point of doing it all? That's not the right attitude. You know what? You're right. It's a shame that I gave it up. I should be more... I should do more stuff. And I don't even have to do, be productive doesn't have to be productive stuff. Maybe if I wanted to sit in bed all day and read awful romance novels, I should do it too. Yeah, that's the spirit. <laughs> you do what you want to. Ah, oh, thanks a million, nerdy. I feel good. I feel it's good to get stuff on my chest. After all, we've been focusing into a great... We've been fusing into a great big monster together, haven't we? That's something. A bond. It's kind of a bonding experience, if anything. I guess so. 
I pretty much finished with my cup of tea. What do you say we shall we uh, get back into it then? Oh wow, yeah, relationship three. Okay, fusions you form with Kale now have a 50% added strength. All right, cool. Your broken tapes have been repaired. Heck yeah. Your master, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yep, yep. What's it gonna evolve into? Oh, what the heck is that? That's cool. Your macabre tape became a folklord. A fully mature macabre and the folklord wears a skull like the kind he used to perch upon, which now has molded to its head. Its arms and upper body are so dense with muscle that it cannot support itself on its legs for very long. Whoa, okay. Magic melee attack 135, range attack 100, range defense 120, Mad melee defense 135, speed 120. Dude, okay. That's dope. All right, we're going into the ruined town now. Oh, it's the... Oh. Okay. The hourglass uh, monster we saw was... We, we fought and evolved one of that before. And I remember asking myself, Hey, how do we... Did I just go into loop? Oh, are you kidding me? Did I seriously go in a loop? Ugh. Alright. Ooh. That was close. Oh, maybe this is how we get inside. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hey, chest. Oh, it's a fusion monster. What is that thing? So it's the cook thing and, oh, I'm drawing a blank here. Oh, oh, it's the, the prankster dude and the, and the cook thing. Okay. Uh, it's kind of deja vu. I'm gonna call for help right off the bat. Terra heal. Okay, so it's, it's it's something heal. It's the little dude with the bat wings that turns into our vagabond dude we have, and then it's the the cook dude the with the spoon uh, uh, turns into the cheap pot. Plus one critical AP. Sandstorm. Oh, that's a mean move. We have five. It's this spit. Maybe I'll try desperation. It does more damage to Laura's health gets. Uh, and then maybe I'll do toxic stab. No, because that'll just... Eh, it does 90 damage. Let's do multi-hit. And then his health will lower. Desperation again. One, two, three, four? Just three. Okay. That's still not bad. Sandstorm again, which is really annoying. There goes our, our friend. We did lower them. There you go. Spring Heal, that was the name of it, and Terra Cook, so Terra Heal. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Gambit. Just activated. Deja Vu, and then... You know what, let's switch. 
Uh, the poison dude's gonna be pain. I feel like this would be a good opportunity to uh, act, heck, get way of the fists and folklore in here. Provoke. Metal shatters earth, so we want to keep his elemental type. Chance of causing coating. Damage per empty slot. That's okay. Uh, bone cannon. Since he's going to provoke, we want to give him a shield. Now we got two really good teams that I can swap in between, making this uh, game, well, even more enjoyable, actually, if I'm being honest. Energy shot, uh, heroic blade, let's shatter their defenses, even though they have contact damage. Uh, let's get back some of our, can we change their coding? No, that would be cool if we could change their elemental type. Let's get back some of our health, let's take out that spring heal. Oh god, that was 300 crit. That's nasty. Shattered their defenses because we're a metal type and they're an earth type. We're a harder material. Mineral? Substance than they are. And then it's bite, getting our health back. Dude, what a disgustingly awesome team. So cool. Alright. I love it.